After loading a new DICOM set for the first time, the panoramic curve should be aligned to go through the middle of the ridge of the patient. An axial slice should be identified by using the slider to the right of the axial view that shows as much of the patient's ridge as possible. Once that slice is identified, the panoramic curve should be aligned to go through the middle of the ridge. The square in the middle of the panoramic curve can be grabbed and dragged to move the curve in its entirety. Any of the squares along the panoramic curve can be grabbed and dragged to align and position the panoramic curve as desired. In addition, the user has the ability to draw a new panoramic curve by going to Tools, Edit Curve. The left mouse button can then be used to place nodes around the arch of the patient and the software connects those nodes to create the panoramic curve. Once the curve is complete, the user could once again go to Tools, Edit Curve or click on the Edit Curve icon in the horizontal toolbar. The squares along the panoramic curve can be grabbed and dragged to fine tune the placement. This is particularly helpful when looking to accentuate the nerves in the mandible. The circle at the top of the panoramic curve can be grabbed and dragged to resize the entire panoramic curve. The circles at the end of the panoramic curves can be grabbed and dragged to resize the field of view. The field of view affects the range of slices visible in the panoramic view as the middle panoramic curve moves between the inner and the outer panoramic curve. It also affects the range of slices visible in the composite panoramic view when the third icon to the right of the panoramic view is clicked. This concludes the panoramic curve functionality training tutorial.